I'm Mrs. Haverly. And I'm Mrs. Ramos. Here at Pinchbeck Elementary. And these are my wonderful fourth grade students. And today we will be working on a cause and effect lesson. All right, guys. We are going to start just by um, first reviewing cause and effect. So we've been learning how to identify cause and effect in text. So can someone raise your hand and tell me what cause is? Antonio. Uh, the why? Good. The cause tells us the why. The reason something happens, right? What is the effect? Brooklyn? It's the what. The what. So it's the what happens after the cause. So can the cause um, come second in a sentence? Yeah. When we're writing it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it can. The cause has to come first in what? Time. Time order. Good. So we've also talked about some other words that we can look for to help us kind of identify some cause and effect in text. What are those words that I'm thinking of? What are those words? Mary? So. So would be one. Ben? Due to. Due to. Sydney? Because. Because. Micah? Therefore. Therefore. Oliver? Sense. Sense. Sophia? So. Um, so. You have another one? As a result. As a result. And these are all called what? What are those called, Mia? Signal words. Signal words. Good. They signal to you in the text that there might be a cause and effect relationship coming up, right? So we're going to do just a quick little activity to review that. And then we're going to play a game. Okay, so I have some cards with different cause and effects written on them. Okay, so I'm going to give everyone a card. Go ahead and read it when you get it, just so you're aware. When you get yours, I want you to try and figure out what you have. Okay, do you have a cause? Do you have an effect? Okay, and what can you maybe look for to help you figure that out? What's something that you might be able to look for to help you determine which one you have, Grace? A signal word. Also, you might want to ask yourself some questions, right? Um, would this event that I have have to happen first or would it happen second? If it has to happen first, then it would be the cause, cause right? If it happens second, then it's the okay. effect. So I'm going to give you a card, okay? I am going to um, play a song. We're going to play like a little musical chairs real quick, okay? Yes. Um, but you're, when I start the song, you're going to quietly get up with your card, okay? You're going to just tiptoe around the room until I stop the music. When I stop the music, what do you think you're going to do? Find a chair and sit in it. Mm, we're not playing actual musical chairs. We're playing a cause and effect musical chairs. Xavier? Find a person. Find a partner and just stand by them. You don't have to all come stand up here. Just stand where you are next to your person. Now, do you think you might be buddied up with someone that might not match your card? Yeah. Yeah. So I want you, when you buddy up with someone, I want you to talk to your partner and see, do you have a cause and effect relationship? Okay? Because you could have two causes, right? Or you could have two effects. Okay? So we're going to do that maybe once or twice, and then on like the on the third round, I'm going to tell you to now find your actual buddy and make your cause and effect relationship. Who has a question about what you're going to do first? Yes, Rebecca. What if you find your buddy when you're walking around? Then that's, that's great. Then you're going to identify which one is the cause, which one is the effect. And then you'll just sit back down. Like in musical chairs, we'll say that you're out. Okay? Capiche? Come on. All right. So I'm going to give you a card. If you don't match it, you're just trying to see if you have a positive enough relationship. And then you'll find your match after that. Oh. 
I, yeah, I had one absent, so. So maybe you'll have that one. Okay. Are we ready? So the first round, we are tiptoeing. You're tiptoeing around to find a buddy. Oh, there you go. Miss Ramos has an extra, so she might be a buddy with someone. Okay, are we ready? There you go. You're tiptoeing. Keep moving. Tiptoeing. You don't stop. You don't get your partner until I stop the music. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. You're not supposed to keep moving. Okay. Find a buddy and stand next to them. Wherever you're at, find your buddy. Daniel, here you go. Mia needs a buddy. So talk to your partner. Do you have a cause and effect relationship? <laughs> you want to tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Let's see if anyone got a cause and effect relationship. So, Madden and Sydney, what does your say? What do you guys have? Mrs. Haverly's alarm didn't go off, so he left school early. Is that a cause and effect relationship that matches? Mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense. But do they have one cause and one effect? Yes. But it's not a match. Um, all right, let's look at yours. What did you guys get? Does that make a cause and effect relationship? Maybe not. No. We'll have to see. All right, we'll do one more and then I'm going to play it again. What did you guys get? Uh, since Madden didn't blur out, she needs to plug it in, in, into the charger. Since Madden didn't blur it out, she needed to plug it into the charger. <laughs> it was all Does over. that work? No. No, that doesn't work. Oliver. That doesn't work. I should have chosen Oliver. Okay. So, um, Micah and Grace, it looks like they have um, a cause and effect relationship. So what does yours say? So that does work, Well, but we might have to see if there's one that it goes with more. All right, we're going to do it again. So you're tiptoeing. Go ahead, tiptoe. Okay, find a buddy. Talk to your buddy, see if you had a match. Ben, me and he's a partner. Yes. Okay. What do you guys have? Kevin scored a goal in the soccer game. Kevin scored a goal in the in the soccer game because he tricked the last defender. Does that work? Yeah. Yeah. Which one has? Which one of you has the cause? Boys. Me. Stop moving. Who has the cause? Me. Yeah, Rebecca has the, <coughs> nope, look at that again. What do we look at to help us figure out oh, the cause? The <laughs> what does Brooklyn have then? The what, what word would help us figure that out or signal to us that we, Sydney? Because. Because. So you guys have a match, so you guys get to have a seat. All right, now, this time, I want you to try to find your match, okay? I want you to try to find your match. So, go ahead. Try to find your match. Yes. 
Look at yours. You still have look, this says so and because. You got a match. Okay, clap clap. Freeze. If you didn't find your match, we'll see if we can. But it sounds like we have a match here. So what did yours say, Oliver? Since Rebecca's computer was dead. She needed to plug it into the charger. Is that a cause and effect? Yeah. Yes. Which one's the cause? Uh, Since Rebecca's computer was dead. Yes, her computer was dead. The effect is that she needed to uh, plug it into the charger. Good job. You guys can have a seat. Did anyone else find their match? All right, Danielle, Micah, what does yours say? Ah, okay. What does it say? Since Brooklyn learned all of her multiplication facts, she was able to kind of say really in the face. Which one's the cause? Which one had it happen first? She learned all the multiplication facts. Good. So the effect is? Good. Who else found their match? All right, Sophia and Grace. You can have Sophia studied a lot, so she got an A plus on a Nice job. What's the cause? What's the cause? She studied a lot. The effect is? Nice job. You guys can have a seat. All right. Mrs. Ramos in that, and I think they got a match. They got a match. Therefore, she was late for work. What was the signal word in that one? Therefore. Therefore. Good job. All right. Uh, ben and Kevin, you got a match? Yeah. What's yours? Since Madden did it, but I... He earned, a reward. He, he earned a reward. Since Madden didn't blurt out, he earned a reward. What's the cause? And the effect is? He earned a reward. Nice. Have a seat. Okay. We have a few that didn't find their match, and that's okay. So, Neri says Neri wasn't feeling well this morning. Who has something about not feeling well? Oh, Sydney, what does yours say? So, he loves school only. There you go. That would be your match. All right, you can have a seat. Okay. Piers. Pierre earned a house point. Who has something that could go with what Pierre says? What does yours say, Xavier? Because he, he walked quietly down the hall. Would that make a cause and effect relationship? Yeah. Yeah. So that would have been our match. There we go. Okay. Emma says, because Daniel completed his required lessons. He leveled up in Lexia. And then Mia and Adrian have oh. Mia's computer broke because it slipped out of her hand. Have a seat. So the cause in that one is, what's the cause, Sophia? It slipped out of her hands. The effect is that it broke. What is the signal word? Because. Because. Nice job, guys. Okay. Now, we're going to play a little game with your tables. So I'm going to go over the directions and the rules with it. So I need you to make sure you're listening closely. Okay? All right. Who has ever played uh, Connect Four? Raise your hand. Okay, someone tell me what is the goal of Connect Four? What are you doing when you play Connect Four? Um, Pierre? Try to get four in a row. You're trying to get four in a row. Okay? So we're going to play Connect Four with cause and effect. I'm going to go over the rules and how we're going to play, so you need to listen. Okay? Each table is going to get a stack of cause and effect task cards, okay? They're all different colors. You're gonna get a stack of these. I'm gonna put them in the middle of your table face down. You're not gonna touch them. Okay, you're gonna leave them right there. Okay? You don't need to, they're gonna be out of order and that's okay, because we're not gonna do them in number order. So once, what you're gonna do is when I give these out to every table, I'm gonna give you this. Each person's gonna get a recording sheet so each task card has a question after the little passage. And then these are your answer choices. 
So you're going to choose the correct answer on here based on the question and what you read in the passage. Okay? Then each table is going to get one of these lights. Okay? This is to signal to Ms. Ramos and I that you are ready for your answer to be checked. So one person in your group is going to just push the light. When we see this, that tells us that you are ready to have your answer checked. Do you see how I push that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Did I just, did I pound it? No. Did I smack it really hard? No. No, I just use one finger. Okay, so one finger will turn it on and off. Now, once we see this, you are not getting up out of your seat. You're not doing anything until we come over, one of us comes, to check your answer. Every person in your group must have the same answer and must have the answer circled before we will let you move on from that. If your answer is correct, we're going to give you a little piece of tape. You're going to take that task card and the one person, you can rotate the person each time, is going to come to the board and pick a place to put your task card. And you're going to stick it on there. And then you're going to go back to your group. You are not allowed to pull the next task card until that person is back at your table ready to work with you. So you cannot pull the task card while they're up here trying to pick the spot. And you might want to talk to your table and decide where you want to put your task card before the person comes up here so that you're not screaming and yelling at the person where to put it. Okay, so the goal is to connect four. So once a team has a connect four, we'll take all the task cards off and then we'll do another round. So once um, we've checked your answer, you're going to click the, um, or once you have your answer, you're going to click the light, we'll come to you, you're going to take that card if it's correct, and you're going to put it on a square on the board. Who has a question? Oliver? Do you have to have like one task card completed? Yes, yeah, so you're doing one task card at a time because you're all going to work on it together. So you're not going to pull like three different ones and all three of you do a different one at the same time. One at a time, you all talk about it together, you all decide on your answer. When you all have the answer circled and you agree, you click your light, we'll come check it. You put your task card on the, the board, you go back to your seat, you pull the next task card. Yes, Pierre? So in the building, you know how whenever you drop the dish, it goes all the way to the bottom? You can start, you can put your card, you can put your cards anywhere. Oh, okay. Yes, Rebecca? What if you choose the wrong answer? Then you won't get to put your task card up that time. Who has any, another question? Yes. Yes, Xavier. <coughs> Yeah, but they're all in different orders. So one, oh, in your stack? Yeah. No, there's 20 different cards. All right, so are we ready to start? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give you your task card and your recording sheet if you wanna hand that to them. Jeremy, Jeremy. You promise yourself to not stop saying the best way over here. So what's the Jeremy? What's the question? What number is it? Number seven. 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 Alright, what's the question? I'm informed in Indian, Remember, in don't Indiana you Ocean can't giant wave get was to the next one created so as back. a result of a massive underwater earthquake as the tsunami raced toward the shore. The wave grew.
Adrian, be careful in that chair. Yes. Yeah. 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 And then she decided she would call each one in like them. So she puts up the mic. And began. Go back to it. your next one with your group. Oh, no, you're up. Oh, no, you can put it there. Yeah, but one and two have pizza parties, and we play at the local arcade. She also has that Germany. Did anyone try to hear what it's like? You want all the And his family grew up in Germany. Alright guys, let's give our pink team here a round of applause. They won that first round. Nice job. Alright. Um, so thank you for coming to our classroom to watch our cause and effect lesson. Go! Yeah!